and foremost, I need to apologize for this fucking unicorn bullshit coming out of my face. I can't even say it. It's so frustrating. Of course, I wake up to film the talking portion today, and what do we have? Fucking preteen skin before I became a woman. So try to ignore it, and we'll move on. Okay, cool. Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Living to Die over here, and today I am bringing you a new portion of my YouTube channel. So for those of you that do not know, I did a segment on how Nat Wood of Batwood is living to die, and now the tables have turned because I am showing her how I live to die. And for anybody who knows me, you know I love my cocktails and you know I love crafting, so I decided to blend the two together. So this is called Crunk and Craft. I think it might be called Crunk, crunk and Craft. I don't know. We're still kind of... I'm testing out names. If anybody has ideas, let your girl know. It's fucking pimple, dude. What this is all about is just having a good time creating something specific for my guests. Something that they can use or maybe they weren't thinking about using, but moving forward they can. On this portion of how I'm living to DIY with my girlfriend Nat, I'm gonna walk you through how to make burritas and two different types of treats for your dogs. Before we get started, if you are not already a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe now so you get all my updates instantly. Join the party because we are gonna crunk and craft a lot more on this channel. Fast forward, fast forward. <laughs> and husky. Good as fuck. <laughs> did you did you stir it? Not that well. <laughs> all tequila. It's <laughs> fucking long. Okay. So one cup. I'm gonna make you do this. <laughs> You're gonna need one cup coconut oil and one cup of peanut butter. I need to melt this though. Okay, so I need to melt this guy. Melt your coconut oil to a complete clear liquid. Well, there's <laughs> one chunk in there, but you know. Together your one cup of coconut oil that's melted down, one cup of peanut butter, one teaspoon of cinnamon until it's all blended. Once everything is blended, you're gonna take your tray, it could be a silicone tray, even an ice cube tray if you wanted to, and you're gonna pour the mixture within it, and then you're gonna place it in the fridge or the freezer until it's completely solid. this silicone tray at Michael's if you want or any of your local craft stores. I love it because it's so easy to pop the hearts out and then you'll place them in an airtight container and keep them refrigerated. For this next treat you're going to preheat your oven to 350. While that's heating up go ahead and measure out one and a half cups of oatmeal. Then you're going to take your oats and put those in a blender and blend them up to a powder. D, D string booty. I'm already buzzed, dude. Booty hole. That's a death cup, Zach. That literally smells like sweaty butt. Zach, smell the sweaty buzz. Yeah. Go ahead and measure out a half a cup of peanut butter. Mash up one large banana. Now mix everything together to form your dough. <laughs> so you can see it. Slap that shit, slap that. Lay down some flour or some oats so your dough doesn't stick to your countertop. And you don't need a rolling pin because Nat didn't have one in her house. We just used a cup. Grab whatever cookie cutter you want and cut your dough into as many dog treats as it can. Those 
directly onto a cookie sheet and stick them in the oven that's preheated to 350 and you're gonna leave them in there for about 15 minutes. <laughs> Once they are out of the oven, you're gonna want them to cool down before you transfer them to your choice of platter. Oh, that's really good, huh? There you have it. That is how you make a burrita, and that is how you make homemade dog treats. All of Nat's social media is linked below if you don't already follow her, along with mine. Go ahead and connect with both of us outside of this YouTube bubble. If you guys like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. Comment down below guests you'd like to see on Living to DIY, cocktails, crafts you want to see other people do, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Alright guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you next Wednesday.